Hello everyone, my name is Xbox One, and welcome back to some more Dragon Age Origins. Now, in the last part, we had finally done the first task of, um, of Prince Balin to, you know, gain his favor. Uh, we had, you know, went into the Deep Roads to find, uh, Lady Daisy, I believe her name was, her father, and let him know that, um, Lord Harrowmont was, uh, yeah, was, uh, double dealing. Which, you know, isn't good for him, isn't good for anyone else, it's just, yeah. But is he really double dealing, though? Is Lord Harrowmont actually doing it? Uh, like I said, um, I don't like Balin, but I like that he's, you know, a, um, I like that he's an open-minded person, you know? I don't like his methods, but I like his message, if that makes sense. So, yeah, and... In this part, we're actually going to meet the man himself, or Dorf Are himself, I guess. Are you ready now? I am ready. Take me to him. I warn you, be on your best behavior, and keep your weapons sheathed. I am impressed, Warden. Not many outsiders so quickly grasp Orzammar's rather... convoluted politics. I am Prince Balin. Fartag told me of your efforts against the usurper who tried to claim my father's throne. I heard you're the one king... Mm, should we really say that? Nah, let's not. Let's just... Let's just try to uh, get to better understand, you know, how things are done. But aren't dwarven kings elected? Traditionally, the king decides his successor. The assembly just says I or nay. Kings have only ever selected someone outside their families if they were childless, or if their children lacked the capacity to rule. Or, as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Yeah, I really don't think that's what's happening in your case, bud. Why would Harriman try to take over? To be king of the greatest city in Thedas? I know you Grey Wardens claim to be above politics, but surely you can't be blind to that lure. Is that what draws you? Do you expect modesty? That is no valuable trait for a king. This is a time for action, not cultured debate. We need absolute unity to fight against the fulcrum of true evil. Then you'll honor your agreement with the Dwardens? Absolutely. And sworn on the mail of my ancestors, as soon as Orzammar is united under my rule. Unfortunately, while this debate rages, I have no power to send the troops you need. You've seen for yourself, the city is a slaughterhouse. Criminals run lawless. I could never hold the throne if I allowed such chaos. How can I help you take the throne? You have struck a blow against Haramont already, and I thank you for that. But there is another faction in play here. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia and the Carta of Criminals she runs? <laughs> oh, I should say that, but I'm not going to. What about them? They know Orzammar is divided now and has no time for them. It's made them bold. If I show the city I can eliminate such a threat, well, let's just say my position would be stronger. And let me guess, you want my help? I'd never ask for such a thing, but if you do eliminate Jarvia and her thugs, you would have my gratitude. And my promise that as king, I will send as many troops as you need to fight the Darkspawn. Unfortunately, I have little information on Jarvia. Her base of power is in Dust Town, the lowest part of the city. And my men have few sources there. Maybe the Castless will talk more freely with a stranger. I'll go look for her right now. And I will wait eagerly for your return. Let me guess. This is where the poor people live. Mm. I'd say yeah. That's about accurate. You guys gotta attack me too. We'll get plenty Actually... Let's 
just get a little bit closer, right there. Good shot. Get back over here, you fucklet. <sighs> Apparently, you need help with something. Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. Why do I need to persuade him? I'm Linya, a Grey Warden. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. I'd have to hear what you're asking. Human kings, you know. They make these ridiculous laws. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrian. The sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man named Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of a stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead, at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. Smuggling is illegal. I'm turning you in. I don't think so. Boys! Now, let's see. This one first. Go in. Yes. Was that ethical? Probably not. Do I care? Not really. Uh, a store down here? I guess it's worth a look. What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. Let me see your wares. <laughs> for those gloves. Wait a minute. What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. I'm looking for a thief who dared steal from the shape uh, from the shaper eight. Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me I mean this person in? You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden. I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. More enemies ahead. <laughs> proving receipt. Well, I guess we gotta go to the proving grounds now. Let's see, beggar, beggars, beggars, beggars. 
spare a bit for the needy? H have you a coin to spare, milady? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Here's five silvers. Buy yourself a meal. Thank you. That a stranger would care so much when my own family barred me from their halls unless I'm willing to... But no! I can't bear to even think of it! What does your family want you to do? My son's father is castless, as is he. I used to be a minor, but my parents stripped my caste and refused to accept me back. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. That's horrible. I cannot abandon my baby. The Shapers teach that only children of true lineage exist, not those born castless. But they never carry the child. He cries like any other infant, and smiles when he's warm and full. I can't kill him because of an accident of birth. An accident I forced on him? You should go to the Chantry. No, no. I kind of want to persuade her to go to the Chantry, but... Yeah, you know what? Being a Dalish elf, you know, we take care of our own. And... Uh, our clans are like our family, so we would actually intervene with the family. Maybe I could reason with your family. Y you would do that? But why? Orzammar must change with the times. Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapsters in the evening. I do not think he will listen to you, but I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promise. Honestly, lady, uh, you and I both. And who on earth would know where... Who would know where the Carta base is? Your clothes are so fancy. Did you get them topside? Yes, I did. My ma'am used to say they don't got no stone to protect them topside. If I go up there, I'm a gonna fall into the sky. You just have to hold on real tight with your toes. Yes. <laughs> when my doll left, he never came back. Who's to say he didn't fall up, eh? I have to go now. Don't fall into the sky when you go back up there. Yes? Why is someone like you hanging about Dust Town so much? Oh. Don't fall into the sky when you go back up there. Well, that didn't help. Um, I think actually... Oh, is it you that I have to talk to? Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine-dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. I might have money if you have information. What are you <clears throat> looking for? Do you know a woman named Jarvia? Know her. I used to run with her. Jarvia took over the Carta not more than a year ago, and already she's got every duster with both legs bearing swords for her. Do the Carta have a base anywhere? They do, but it's not easy to find. Jarvia's got real paranoid. She's got Carta members all carrying these finger bone tokens. She scratches some mark into them so she'll know they came from her. There's doors to her base all over the city, but only one is ever open at a time. And if you show up without a token, you'd never know it was there. Where do I find one of these tokens? Can't help you there, Salraka. The Carta members keep them real tight. Now, uh, how about that coin you promised? I'll give you ten silvers. Take care of yourself. I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. 
Uh, you gotta help out when you can. Suspicious door. Okay, so I feel like that's where we need to go. But we don't have a bone finger. Don't suppose we can go in here? Well, look what we have here. Jarvia said you were looking for trouble. Congratulations. You found it. Watch oh, them. Ancestors, what do they teach you on the surface? You fight like a bleeding archdemon. Sweet bloody stone, look at them all. Tell me how to find Jarvia, or you join them. The base is below the city. You, uh, you can get to it through the wall of the third house on this row. Put this token through the slot, and it'll open. Well, uh, will you let me go now? Yes, and you won't want to be there when Jar uh, be at Jarvius when I get there. Really? Oh, thank you. You're a good person. How do they say it? The ancestors have shown their favor. Bless you. I only killed like two of them. Well, we, uh... Over with. We gave to the poor, and then we're stealing from the poor. Right. I promise you we will talk to your dad. I'm just doing my own mission right now. The door appears to be made of solid stone. There is no visible means of opening it. On close inspection, there seems to be a small slot concealed uh, in a fold of the stone. Just enough for a finger. Still going? Uh, one second. Okay. All right. So we found uh, Jarvia's um base of well, hopefully the base of operations. Pretty sure this is the right spot. But uh, we are currently out of time, unfortunately. So yeah. Um, in the next part, we will deal with Jarvia and um, most likely kill her. That seems to be what uh, taking care of her is going to be. We're just going to you know slaughter the bitch. But yeah, we also got to take care of a few side missions before reporting back to Balin. I definitely want to help out that poor girl and her and her baby by talking to her parents. So yeah, we'll do all of that in the next part. With that being said, I've been Xbox One. You guys have been great. I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye, lovelies.